Hello and welcome to tutorial 3 for Motion Blur. In this tutorial we're just going to break down how we created Motion Blur for this street scene using an alpha image to separate the foreground from the sky and the sun over here. So let's just break this down and have a look what's going on. All of our lighting is in a composite that we created just to rotate the whole lighting design. So let's go inside this. Okay, let's look at the original HDRI map. It's this street scene. It's got a very bright sun at the end of the street. So that's the non-blurred original. And then on top of this, we have our motion blurred version. And if we go into this composite, we can see there is the original HDRI map and an alpha multiply uh, has been used to load an image that is a mask. And I'll just go to Photoshop and we can see this mask image here that was created. And that is masking this uh, foreground content from the sky. So if we go back up, so you can see this composite is being motion blurred and layered over the top of the original HDRI. But if we come into details like this around the lamp here, we can see that we've run into problems because we have a blurred version over the top of the non-blurred version and that's where we can see through and we can see the original lamp. So what we did to solve this is we used Photoshop or any paint package to paint inside and clone the edges of the foreground content. So if we come over here to this lamp area, we've actually painted inwards to extend the sky into the foreground. And then we loaded this into HDR Light Studio as a layer where we increased that sky, turn it off, turn it on. And this meant that when we then had the motion blurred version over the top, details like around the lamp looked correct. If I zoom back out again, and say we look at this chimney. That looks correct. And if I get rid of the layer where I increase the sky, you can see clearly the non-blurred version, so it loses the, the correct effect. So that was the setup that we used to create a mask for the foreground, to motion blur it, but then we corrected the original HDRI map to extend the sky into the foreground so the blurred version sat over the top of it properly. Thank you for watching.